Good morning, you guys. It is 5 a.m. We are about to embark on an epic adventure, and it is also someone's birthday today. Happy birthday! <laughs> Thank you very much. He's got his birthday blueberry muffin, some milk, breakfast of champions. So, Adam, like any other normal human, decided that the only thing that he wanted for his birthday this year was to fast pack 40 miles across the Trans Catalina Trail in two days. Because who wouldn't want to spend their whole birthday just suffering, surrounded by beauty, right? <laughs> I live with Lee's. My whole life is suffering in beauty. <laughs> oh my god. Adam is so happy right now because he gets to make comments like that all day. Look at him. Look at him. He is a child. This is the only day I can make any joke I want. <laughs> He's way too happy about this birthday situation. So our plan for today is basically to do a marathon starting here in the town of Avalon and going all the way across to the other side of the island to its only other town called Two Harbors. It'll be about 6,000 feet of climbing, lots of ups and downs, but there should be just spectacular coastal views the entire way. So we're really excited to get this going. If we had world enough and time slow on every climb. We'd walk to pass our long love's day. And wander in the ancient way. But life is short. We won't, we won't. It. All right, so we are about four and a half miles in. Yes. How are you feeling? I feel pretty good considering. You guys, so this is actually the first day that Adam's doctor cleared him to go out and get light exercise after having breakthrough COVID. Oh my God, you guys. Breakthrough COVID is no joke. Yeah. I felt horrible. <laughs> and I, I'm gonna admit, I'm a little more tired than I would normally be at four and a half miles in. But so, so happy to have recovered and be out here having this amazing adventure in this beautiful place. I don't know if a 40 mile ultra was quite what the doctor was recommending when he said go out and get some light exercise, <laughs> but you got to know who you're talking to. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I consider this light and <laughs> obviously we would not recommend this for most people after having COVID. Um, but for us, we had already booked the trip and I think being out in the warm sunshine and fresh air is going to be a good thing for me. How's that vertical treating you, Elise? It's very vertical. <laughs> you guys know in general how I feel about giving up vertical. I hate giving up vertical. You know what Adam says about having to give up vertical. I will step on a baby before I'll give up <laughs> vertical. But here on the Trans Catalina Trail, you just have to know going in that there's a lot of ups and a lot of downs. So, you know, just be ready for that. It's fine. You go up a mountain, you go down a mountain, then you go up another one. And at the top of every one, it's very beautiful. All right, you guys. Well, hopefully you can see that we have now crossed into the other side. The Pacific Ocean is once again in front of us. We just passed Blackjack Campground, which means we're a little over 10 miles in and we're feeling pretty good. There could only be just one slight problem in that we have a hard cutoff time of five o'clock to get to Two Harbors because 
Adam felt that he wanted to spend his birthday night sleeping in luxury and we managed to find these essentially empty little huts with a bare mattress. So you know, if we can get to two harbors by 5 p.m., we will be sleeping like kings tonight. Well, <laughs> kings from the medieval period anyway. <laughs> if we can't get there, I don't know what's gonna happen, but it's not gonna be good. You know what else is luxurious? Getting <laughs> french fries, real food. Adam's got some egg omelet going on right there. Birthday breakfast. 13 miles in, getting a real breakfast. <laughs> we can't dilly dally too long, so we're gonna munch this up and then head back onto the trail. We are encountering our first bison of the day. Doesn't get much better than this, Elise. This is glorious. <laughs> Open your eyes. This life is burning so bright. Search with your mind. The world is on your is a hiker's paradise. It really is. A little over 18 miles in, yeah. we have earned this beach, you guys, and yeah. we're gonna enjoy it. Let's go for a soak, I'm so excited. Gotta soak our feet and then take a rest in the sand. A little ice bath action. Yeah, we still have six miles. Almost 2,000 feet of climbing. Yep. I shouldn't have said I was victorious. <laughs> we got a lot left. What you got there? Well, something even better than a Pop-Tart. <laughs> at, that, at that airport place where we got lunch, they had Coca-Colas. And I just thought, wow, I'm doing this whole thing just off my sick bed. I might really need a Coca-Cola. <laughs> to get that last few miles. Mm -hmm, that's true. Elise thinks this thing is going to explode like a bomb when I open it. Because it's been being- That would be so funny. <laughs> please, please, I'm really praying right now. Come on, come on. I'm opening it slow. No, go for it. Be a man. Oh. oh. <laughs> You don't want to lose any of that precious Coca-Cola. <laughs> well, we're very sorry to be leaving the beach and now we have to head straight uphill, but we've opted for a compromise, which is we're going to leave our swimwear on while we climb the hill because it'll be much cooler and make us feel maybe like we're still at the beach. All I have is those sweaty pants. This is like the last thing I want to put on right now. <laughs> so until we get up to the top and it gets cold, we're just climbing in swimwear. <laughs> Don't care. <laughs> Don't judge us. <laughs>
Adam finding one of the ultimate snack spots of the day. Oh, nice. Snack spot, huh? That is a good snack spot. I'm not gonna lie, this hill would definitely have been easier without the COVID. <laughs> but with that said, I'm feeling so freaking blessed right now yeah. to be able to be out here and doing this incredible <laughs> thing. Wow! It's absolutely insane. Walking this ridge line. What a blessing. Well, this got really steep, really fast. Oh man, all the energy I had from the Coca-Cola is wearing off. So tired. How are you, boo? <laughs> Help me. <laughs> You're tired? Yeah. Oh my God, we're struggling, but we are more than 20 miles in. So. It's a good time. Yeah, we're getting there. Oh yeah. Are we at the top? We are at the top. Oh, yes, thank the Lord. It's all downhill for the rest of the day. Yes. Until a lot of up tomorrow. A lot of up tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> but this is fantastic. This is amazing. Whoa. As always, you guys, we're kind of up against it. We've had that long stop at the beach and then that really steep mountain to climb. So now we gotta hustle our butts. Gotta hustle. Otherwise, we're not going to get the key to that little hut at five oh, and then we'll, we'll be stuck outside. Oh, no. That's not what we want. Let's go. Let's go. Well, if this isn't the most luxurious little hut you ever did see. <laughs> As you guys can see, we made it with about 15 minutes to spare. We got a plastic mattress and some Pedialyte. What do you need? We look like kings. Kings, I tell you, kings. <laughs> we are cooked, you guys. <laughs> cooked but the birthday marathon was a success yes we made it we're here and now we're about to do what people do i guess when they come to catalina which is watch a sunset and get some dinner yeah and hopefully some sleep i don't know about sleep i don't know if you guys saw that plastic mattress with no pillow no blankets and no sheet <gasps> I'm a little concerned, but fingers crossed we get some because in the morning we're waking up and doing another 14 miles, 3,000 feet of climbing, so. Yeah, and we're pretty tired. Hopefully we'll get a little bit of sleep. Wish us luck, you guys. We'll see you in the morning. See you in the morning. Good morning, you guys. Well, that was a fantastic birthday yesterday. <laughs> Feeling quite sore today, but what a morning. Wow, it is gorgeous here. Absolutely gorgeous. We are walking along the first flat half mile before we have to start an 
epic uphill. So our plan for today is to finish up the last 14-ish miles of the trail. There will be about 3,000 feet of climbing. We're trying to get over to Parsons Landing. We have to pass through the tallest point on the island to get there. But once we do that, we drop down to Parsons Landing and we should have just a glorious way back to Two Harbors to hopefully catch the ferry this evening. <laughs> So if all goes according to plan, we should have most of our climbing over in the first couple of hours. Look where we are. Oh, come on. Top of Catalina Island, you guys. Yes. Awesome. This is beautiful. Wow. Oh my goodness. That was kind of a struggle, I think mostly because of yesterday. <clears throat> yeah. And it was so steep. Oh my gosh. Wow. Whew. Straight up. <laughs> Straight up, but we are at the top. Yeah. Can't wait to show you guys this 360. It is spectacular. Yeah. Oh my God. So happy. Yeah, let's have a little snack up here and then go down and play. All right, you guys, so we are getting our first views of Parsons Landing, and we were definitely feeling chilly up on that peak, but I don't know, getting those views of that beautiful beach down there, it's looking pretty inviting. We might have to go in for a swim. Well, you guys, I know the camera always flattens things out, so this might not look like the 50 or 60% grade that it is, but this is ridiculously steep. Poor Elise can barely get down it. <laughs> I'm so gonna fall. <laughs> Whoa, Elise! So close. Oh my god. <laughs> you guys, we have arrived at Parsons yeah. Landing. What a treat. This is incredible. Yeah, after all that vertical up and all that vertical down, which is almost harder. Yes. Wow, what a reward. And now we just get to enjoy this beautiful beach. We're actually, for once in our lives, ahead of schedule. So we actually get to chill and enjoy and maybe go for a swim. Yes, yes. let's do this. Oh, yeah. Elise gingerly making her way down. <laughs> you always got something to say, don't you? <laughs> Body surf, Elise. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Excellent job. You rode that wave. Yes. <laughs> Everyone's always thinking that Adam just has me go in the water all the time, but it's really just that he goes in. We just can't show it because he never brings a swimsuit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm old school like that. I don't. I don't believe you'd have to wear a suit in nature's water. 
I agree. I mean, that, it's not but... like I'm trying to go suitless in the public pool or something, but like out here, come on. I know, I know, it's true. <laughs> Sorry, guys, we're not gonna show you that part. Oh my goodness. Well, that had to be the best stop yet along this crazy epic suffer fest. Oh, definitely. That was amazing. <sighs> But now we just have to hobble ourselves about eight miles back to two harbors. Should be very beautiful from what we've heard. Yeah. So I'm really looking forward to this. Um, we'll take it fairly slow, but not too slow because we do have a ferry to catch. You guys ever have that experience where you do something really really hard and then you're on the easiest part but because it's at the end it feels like the hardest <laughs> that is exactly the experience we're having right now we're 37 miles in this is by all accounts the easiest part it's flat it's incredibly beautiful i hope you can see but our feet hurt i just <laughs> Blisters. <laughs> We're blistered up. Ow. <laughs> We're struggling so hard. <laughs> but three more miles, and we will have done this thing. Yeah. What is it? Oh! Oh! Please! We made it! Oh my god, you guys! Yes! We did it! We did it! <laughs> oh my god. I've never been so happy to be in town. I'm so tired. So tired. Wow. Wow. Trans Catalina Trail. 40 miles. 40 freaking miles. 8,000 <sighs> feet of climbing. We are back! Oh my gosh. I would pay top dollar if I could just crawl into a little bed and have someone transport that bed to my bed at home. <laughs> my plan is to lie in that sand with a big burger or something. That sounds great. Yeah. Second best option. Oh my god. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for coming along yeah, with thank us. thank you guys. This was a really great adventure that We've been trying to do this for many, many years, so I'm glad that it finally came together. I really think that this is an excellent first ultra. If somebody's looking to get into yeah, these that's true. extra long kind of fast packing mm -hmm. things, mm -hmm. it's not too difficult and yeah. that it's really well marked. Yeah, that's right? true. That's we true. didn't see almost anyone the whole way. There's these places where all the campers are, so you pass mm -hmm. a bunch of campers all at one time. Yeah. And then it's just us the whole rest the of the time. But the route we took, if you if you want to copy our route, it's great if you're someone who just likes beauty and solitude. Beauty and solitude. That's what it's all about. That is. Hope you guys liked it. We'll see you next time. See you next time out on the trail. Climbing higher, running faster, going.